the pen tool, is one of the star tools of Photoshop, in terms of photo montage, and cutout techniques, it is quintessential. Tool because of its simplicity, and its flexibility. In this new tutorial, we will take in hand this essential tool of Photoshop. There is a whole type of pen tool, and functions specific to this tool. We start with the basic tool. Select the pen tool, configure it on the path, and not on the shape, because I will create paths, that will be later selections, and not create shapes, which will be filled. Take note, the use of this tool for the first time seems difficult, but you would easily get used to this tool, and believe me, it is a very easy tool. First, the basic pen tool. I press the mouse, I create a point, I move my hand a bit, and I press again. Its points are connected, by a straight segment. This similar to the polygonal lasso tool, because the link between one point, and another is a straight line. We will cut the picture in this frame. To create a selection with this tool, you must cut its element, and at the end return to close your cutout. It is ok, when you see this circle icon. Our path is done, but as soon as, I select it disappeared. Well, think again, it is just deselected, to select it again, we have to go into the layer panel, path. By double clicking on the selection of our path, we can name it. It can also be modified, as we said, this is the advantage of vector tools. It can be moved, but this is not possible, via the move tool, because this tool only acts on raster tools, and flatten shapes. For vector shape, and paths, we have a tool dedicated to the selection, and modification, which is the patch selection tool. This tool allows me to move my path easily. Like this. In the path selection tool, we have the direct selection tool. This allows it to move the points, that make up our patch, in other words, modify the vector shapes. To cut now either we create a vector mask, by the layer menu, vector mask, or by pressing shift like this, we select our patch, and then, we create a layer mask at the bottom by this icon. Automatically, my selection is cut out. Now let us move on to another example. The first, is easy because the object was rectangular. But what about an object with curvatures, like this, for example? Through this basic pen tool, I can create curvatures, and not just straight lines when I draw, just stay pressed, and pull out instead of removing his hand. From the mouse, then, I get curvatures. Like this. Repeat the operation. Like this. As we said, you have to stay behind, and then pull like this. We repeat the same operation again, and then, close my trace. After closing my path I will explore other options, before creating the layer mask for the final clipping. So what are our options? First, you can modify its curvatures. Via its tangents, just select the directly drawn tool, and then modify the curvature. To reduce it, enlarge it, point it in different directions, left right, up to low, etc. You can also move the points to adjust them properly. Like this. We can add points during my path, we have this little plus that allows us to add points, when we approach with the cursor, on the segments of the path. But if you get close to a point, a minus icon appears which tells me to delete that point. These are the main features of the basic pen tool. Let us now go to the following tool. TH second, is the freeform pen tool. The freeform pen tool acts in the same way as the lasso tool, the difference of this tool, which does not create selections, but vector shapes and paths, is modifiable thanks to its points. The disadvantage of this tool is that it is very difficult to handle. Third, the Curvature Pen Tool. Very little use, because this tool allows us to create a path with curvatures, but we can create curvatures with the basic pen tool, by just pressing the cursor instead of releasing directly. Fourth, Add Anchor Points Tool. Does not create a path, but just add anchor points to an existing path. We do not use it, because the basic pen tool includes this feature too.
Fifth, delete the anchor points tool. Removes anchor points. Be aware that you can always delete by the basic pen tool as we have already seen. Sixth, the convert point tool. Converts direct points into curvatures. By a simple, extended click, we create what are called curvature tangents.